Hello and welcome back to our KSP career series. Finally, the time is here. We are arriving at Duna and the first ship that will be coming is our Duna Science Lander. Well, technically it's a lander and uh, what I was hoping to be a relay satellite. However, given that I have removed the remote tech, it's no, these two big antennas are no longer relays. They are direct satellite, direct antennas. So that means that I will be needing to send some further relay satellites to do not to if I will be able to fully utilize, you know, the relay and stuff. However, that being said, I will nonetheless scan the heck and explore and try to get as much science data as I possibly can from that. And I also have a dinky lander, although I'm not sure if I will be landing it on do not just yet. Who knows, maybe I'll actually just land it on Ike instead. All right, that being said, we are performing the orbital insertion burn. I did not want to aerobrake for specific reasons. And look at this, I already set up the burn so that I have an Ike encounter. Well, of course. Oh, and we are experiencing the solar storm. Well, now that we are in Duna orbit, we might as well catch up on some experiments that we actually, you know, contracts that we want to have with Duna. So I didn't have them before. So science data from the surface of Duna. Oh, yeah, I can take it. It, it will expire in 24 years. If I in 24 years I don't land something on Duna, I will be definitely in big trouble. So yeah, okay, accept, accept, accept. All right, so that being said, uh, let's see, what else shall I do? Now, I can actually go and look at this. We have a nice encounter for the Duna Science Lander that will be ensuring that we get to a good position when Duna coincides with Ike. So look at this beautiful Duna. Oh, I love just how the heat disperses of the surface of Duna. It's amazing. Hello, Ike. Yeah, we're coming just for a quick visit. Yes, hello. And let's go onwards to our Ike encounter, where we will be doing some science experiments and getting some data out of Ike because, well, we can and um, we should, ultimately. Yes, this big stack rocket doesn't really feel like a regular transfer stage per se, but I figured I had extra of Delta V. Why not use it in a good way? So, yeah. Let's go to Ike and let's scan the heck of it. Well, at least as much as I can, hopefully. So the moment I get into the Ike uh, sphere of influence, which is this guy, I was actually thinking that I should probably uh, maybe get into, you know, I can use Ike to get well aligned with Duna. And that's the idea. So I just want it to be more of equatorial-ish with the less Delta V, of course, because when you burn around IQ, you get the gravity assist, and that's always helpful. So, 58.9, 59 meters per second, I'm thinking something like that, so not overall too much, and our rocket has more than enough, so that's good. Okay, temperature scan, see, our experiments have been running, so, you know, atmospheric pressure scan, you know, Duna scan, radiation scan, whatever scans we can get. Oh, look at this. This is just gorgeous. Okay, this begs to be the screenshot for the episode. Sorry, guys, I have to align this. Okay, you know, selfie time. Let's do a very nice selfie that we can be proud of. I mean, honestly, guys, I was expecting to do a lot more. However, given that this little thing is not a relay, my options are a little bit limited at the moment. However, that's not to say that we cannot do other stuff. So, let's go. Yeah, what's currently limiting me is the lack of another relay, because the whole duo was planned there this orbital satellite that sits on top and has these three massive antennas would be a relay satellite that would be relaying the data from the, this dinky lander that will be landing on Duna and hopefully keeping control during the whole time. However, that's not the case sadly. Okay, RPWS from Minmus, solar storm transmitted, see? Temperature scan, Duna space high. We are getting some science and that's a good thing because we will need to unlock 
the dish that will be capable of relaying all this data from the Sir or from the Dunas um, orbit back to Kerbin. So yes, that's one of the limitations that I have to live with right now. You know, Kerbalism be damned. And the community tech tree. Those two combined, I didn't know that the difficulty would ramp up so much. Oh look, and there's a beautiful Ike Eclipse on the Duna. Oh, I just love this atmospheric effect. Uh, oh, sorry, not atmospheric necessarily, but yeah. Alright, so... That thing being said, we are going for another circle around Duna where we will be lowering the periapsis to a more reasonable, you know, radiation scan and everything that. Alright. Look at this beautiful shot. There we go. Okay. So now we are near our maneuver node and it will take us 171 meters per second to park this uh, in a nice, you know, orbit where it will need to sadly wait for another relay that will come and do a lot more stuff so yeah not all what i expected and it will be i guess a shorter episode today sorry about that guys but i will be deploying more communication satellites very soon as a matter of fact as you can see the eve science satellite deployer uh, is on the way and the Duna Comnet deployer which is deploying the Duna communications network is just one hour away from this maneuver burn that will ultimately set it into the position around Duna yes actually I filmed these two episodes inter intertwined because they arrived at Duna at the same time so I had to split it to have two episodes because when I was doing the recording I was recording first the this lander then the common deployer then back to the lander then back to the deployer and i was ping-ponging back and forth and if i showed you that as a story it really wouldn't be consistent so and it would really you would have a hard time following and i had a hard time playing it so i decided for it's better that we just split it have this for you know do not arrival for this uh, little you know lander and as you can see here in the dunas high elliptical orbit we have the common deployer and that one will be coming soon, but that will be coming in the future episode. So with that, this lander right in the orbit parked well, I think it's time that I softly wrap up and try to do this, you know, gravity scan. And I guess I will be deploying stuff in the next episode. So hope you liked. Sorry, that's a shorter episode, but I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.